Well, it's time to focus on the new year and leave old problems behind us. Psychotherapist Mary Jo Rapini is live to share the top five things we should ditch before ringing in 2022. First off, I hope you had a very nice Christmas. Thank you, Jose. I had a fantastic one. Okay, now we're going to get to your five things. You say the need to be in control is the first one. Why? That's right. If we haven't learned by now that we are not in control of what's happening in the world, then we have to learn it. Because when you try to control everything, you make others around you stressed and you make yourself anxious and stressed. It's more important to take care of the things you can take care of and control and to let the other things go. How about fear of the future now? If you have fear of the future, I certainly understand because when you read the paper or you hear the news, it's right there hitting you in the face. But you have to remember every generation has been through bad times and fear limits us. It's important to take caution, but to continue carrying on your life and set an example for your children about being brave. Okay, here's one that I know a lot of people are going to <laughs> have to leave behind, and that is physical clutter. That's right. And after the holidays, it's almost overwhelming because you have so much junk around you. I think the best thing you can do for your mind and to get a fresh start in the new year is go through your closets, go through your house, your garage, get rid of stuff you're not going to use, donate it, somebody else can use your junk. Okay, number four is getting rid of your lack of self-discipline. A lot of folks that, don't know how to discipline themselves though. That's right, and it's interesting because it's a form of self-care. So they'll tell me they take good care of themselves, but yet their words do not match their actions. In the new year, whatever you say you're gonna do, don't make excuses, just do it. If you're gonna go to the gym, pack your clothes before you go to work so you won't have an excuse. It's our excuses that limit us, not what happens in the world. Okay, you also say throw away past failures and regrets. That's right, you aren't living in the past, none of us are, and so when you're able to, it's important to be able to let those things go, forgive them, and then release them. And sometimes you'll never get an apology, that's okay, that's how life goes. You have, you cannot stay stuck by what happened in your past, no matter what it was. Great things to leave behind as we go into 2022. Thank you so very much, Mary Jo Rapini. Thank you, Jose, and Happy New Year. Same to you. Thank you. Thank you.